folks, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can achieve this glam scarecrow makeup look. I've actually done two scarecrow makeup looks in the past, one being pretty similar to this, and that was my pretty scarecrow makeup look, which I did my first year on YouTube. It was one of the first videos I ever did that actually kind of took off more so, I guess, in comparison to the other videos it was doing much better than I had expected it to be so that kind of inspired me to want to do a different revamped version with a little bit more of a different color scheme this year and then the other scarecrow makeup look I did last year was my scary scare Anyways, yes, Scary Scarecrow, Pretty Scarecrow, Glam Scarecrow, we're kind of making a little family. So anyways, if you guys are interested in seeing how you can achieve this Glam Scarecrow makeup look, then just keep watching. So to get started, I'm going to be priming my face by taking my Boko Benny Beauty Fringe Benefit Primer and applying this all over my face to prep it for my foundation before taking my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Foundation in Light Neutral and applying it all over my face using my It Cosmetics Airbrush Blurring Foundation Brush. I'm then going to be taking my Boko Bunny Beauty Cream to Powder Foundation in Mocha and using this I'm going to be applying it to the areas that I want to contour or bronze since it is a warmer color as well. So this is just going under my cheekbones and my forehead and I'm just making sure to blend that out before going into my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in number 14 to help bring out the highlights on my face now. So this is going to be going under my eyes, my forehead, and then I'm going to be going ahead and filling in my eyebrows before coming back to it and blending it out later so that way it has a little bit more opacity and it's already started to set a little bit. I'm then going to be taking my Airspray Translucent Powder and using this I'm going to be setting that concealer before moving on to eyes where I'm going to be taking my Smashbox 24 hour photo finish primer and going ahead and priming my eyelids. Then going into my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette I'm going to be taking this nude shadow and just going ahead and sweeping that all throughout my crease. I'm going to be taking this highlight color and using that I'm going to be going ahead and highlighting my brow bone before going into this khaki color and once again I'm going to be sweeping this through the crease as well focusing a little bit on the outer corner to create a V shape before blending it in towards the inner corner. I'm then going to be taking this rest red color and I'm going to be doing the exact same thing by taking a pencil brush just so we can get a little bit more of a precise detail and that way the colors blend into each other more and they don't get too muddy. And I'm even going to be taking a clean blending brush to blend this out as well. I'm also going to be doing a little bit of a cut crease so by that I'm going to be taking my ColourPop No Filter Concealer in white and just taking a flat brush I'm going to be cutting my crease a little bit. I don't want this to be too crazy intense but I definitely want a little bit of separation of colors. I'm then going to be going back into the khaki eyeshadow and I'm going to be using this to blend the white eyeshadow into the colors at the outer corner of the eyelid. And then I'm going to be going into this metallic gold eyeshadow and just patting that onto the inner corner of the eye. The white in the concealer definitely helps bring out the color in this, which is why I personally really like this technique. I'm then going to be going back into my rust eyeshadow and really just building that up right above these colors as well because I started to kind of cover that up more than I liked. And then I'm going to be going into this burgundy eyeshadow from the palette and really just deepening up that outer corner of the crease. Next, I'm going to be going into this light rose gold color and popping that to the center of the eyelid to help brighten it up a bit before going back into the khaki eyeshadow and applying this to the lower lash line and then even doing the exact same thing with the burgundy eyeshadow but focusing this more on the outer corner of the lower lash line. Then I'm going to be taking my Maybelline Lasting Drama Eyeliner in Sleek Black and applying this to my lower waterline before going into my black eyeshadow from the palette and applying this to both the outer corner of my upper lash line and then also my lower lash line as well to really help give this a little bit more of a smoky look. I'm then going to be taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Black Eyeliner and using this I'm going to be creating a cat eye and then I'm even going to be taking this eyeliner as well and I'm actually going to be swiping it through my eyebrows almost in that ink blot kind of inspired look but this is really just going to help give it more of an abstract avant-garde look that I ended up really liking for this makeup look. I'm then going to be taking my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, taking medium and dark cocoa, and using this I'm going to help chisel and deepen those cheekbones a little bit more before going into my Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and just applying a little bit of a sun-kissed look to my face. I'm then going to be taking my Physician's Formula Butter Blush in Plum Rose and just adding a little bit more color to those areas. And speaking of color, I'm even going to be going into my ColourPop Tiana Kiss in a Frog Blush and just applying that to my cheeks. 
I'm then going to be going into my BH Cosmetics Spotlight Highlight Palette, taking Glow and Dream and mixing those together. I'm going to be using that to highlight my cheekbones and my nose. And then we're actually going to be making some fake freckles. So to do that, I'm going to be taking my Meron Paradise Paint in Orange and my Graftopian Pro Paint in Fuzzy Bear Brown, mixing them together with a chip brush and then just splattering that onto my face. Next, I'm going to be taking my Graftopian Pro Paint in Mega Genta, and using this, I'm going to be making a little patchwork nose, so I'm just going to be creating an off shape on my nose, and then just going ahead and filling that in, before going into my Disney Midnight Masquerade palette by ColourPop, taking New Dream and Gaston, and I'm just going to be setting that body paint with these colors, and this is also going to help give it a little bit of shading as well. Next, I'm going to be taking my Kat Von D Liquid Lipstick in Witches, and using this, I'm just going to be going ahead and filling in my lips. I'm then going to be taking my Maron Paradise paint in black and using this I'm going to be outlining that little patchwork nose that we have and creating a little bit of phrase on the edges and some scratches as well. And then I'm even going to be using this to create the rest of my little scarecrow mouth. So I'm just going to be lightly pointing the lips a little bit and then creating a few tiny stitches on the outside of the mouth. I'm then going to be going back into this light caramel eyeshadow and using this I'm going to be creating a little bit of shading around the nose before prepping my eyelashes by curling them and going into my Tarte Tardiest Lash Paint Mascara and just sweeping this through my eyelashes. The false eyelashes I selected for this look are my E&E &E Lashes in Cherry and I'm just going to be popping that onto my upper lash line before going back into my Maron Paradise Paint in Black and using this I'm going to be creating a few little extra eyelashes on my lower lash line. I then created a little scratchy patch on my upper cheekbone and filled that in a little bit with some of this light golden eyeshadow. And then I'm going to be taking my NYX Crystal Eyeliners in Golden Champagne and I'm just going to be applying that to the inner corner of my eyelid. And this is really just going to help give a little bit more of a glamorous look to this scarecrow. And that is the completed scarecrow look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of my videos. And with all that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.